I'm back with um, a haul that I was supposed to do a couple days ago, but you know how that goes. <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, so this is kind of a collective haul of just random stuff here and, they, here and there and the things they just wanted to show you guys. Um, I guess I'll just start off with the Kat Von D palette, the one I talked about in my last video. This is the Metal Orchestra palette. It's on sale at, or clearance at Sephora for $23. There's, I believe there's four more others that are clearance. Um, so you might want to take a look if you're at all a fan of the Kat Von D. Um, the co quality of her colors, the pigmentation and everything are really, really good, except for one that was a complete mess. <laughs> Here's the colors. It's uh, basically a navy blue palette with some silver. This is the one that's a bust. It's supposed to be a cream, but there's nothing. There's just nothing. It's dry. It's messed up. <laughs> so that one's not working, but I'll show you the colors of the... All, these are the blue colors right here. So you can see that's just one swatch. Look how pigmented they are. I really like this one with the sparkle, that dark navy. That's really, really pretty. I have nowhere to wipe this. And then there's a black one, just a standard black color, and then the two silver colors are on the end. And that's that. Just nice gunmetal and a nice silver color. So it's really nice for $23. I mean, oh my gosh, you can't beat that. Um, and then at Sephora I got an Ella Masca eyeshadow, and I've never tried their eyeshadows before, but this one was really pretty. It's called Or. Looks like so. This is the packaging. It's kind of funky. I couldn't figure out how to open it forever. <laughs> I'm not that bright anyway, but see, now I can't remember how to do it again. Oh my gosh. I thought you turned it. <laughs> I can't get it open. Anyway, it's really, really pretty. Oh, you have to pull it open. That's what it is. It pops off. But it's a loose pigment, and it's super sparkly. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's like a goldy bronze. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It's kind of like um, if you have Max Loose Pigment in Museum Bronze, it's very, very similar to that. Um, so, just to let you know, if you already have that, then you wouldn't want that one, because it's a duplicate. And then I got uh, Urban Decay's liner in Zero. I love this eyeliner. I use it underneath. I don't use it on top. I use a liquid on top, and then I use this underneath my eye, and then cover it with powder. <sighs> Let's see. At Ulta, I picked up just a couple of drugstore-type products. Um, I tried NYX's... Um, lip liners because I heard good things about them. Uh, I got plush red and natural. They look like so. I believe they're $4.99? $3.99? But these are the two colors. There's natural and there's plush red. So I'm excited to try those out. I don't do a lot of lip lining so we'll see how that goes. And then I picked up the L'Oreal Color Riche Le Gloss. Looks like so. I haven't tried this out yet but it looked really pretty. So, I got the color. What is this color? Blushing Berry. Looks like so. It's kind of sheer. It looks more opaque in the tube, but it's definitely a sheer. Blends out. It smells good. It smells like candy. <laughs> and then I got a Maybelline Trio in Almond Satin. It looks like so. I'm kind of disappointed in this. Um, color payoff's not great. I'll just let you know. Especially this middle color, the lid color. I like the, what they call the crease color though. This is the crease color. This is the highlight and this is the brow. And uh, I mean, it's okay. It definitely washes off on the eyes. It looks okay on the fingers, but then when you put it on, it's kind of, if you want a really, really nude look, this is a good go-to then because it's not much going on there. So that was it at Ulta. Oh, I forgot Sephora. Oh, there was a couple more things at Sephora. Um, I got one of the Too Faced Lip Luxury um, Champagne Essence Lipstick. Looks like so. This is kind of pricey. It was uh, 22 bucks, which for me is kind of a lot for lipstick. But the color is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And it's just a really pretty pink. I love the packaging. Look at the packaging. that cute? It's like a little diamond at the top. But the, um, the color is kind of a frosty pink. It's got like a metallic. It's not showing up very good on camera, but it has a metallic finish to it, 
which is pretty cool. And it lasts a long time, so that's good. And then I picked up two of the Buxom glosses. This is the packaging. Their packaging is so cute. I got Bunny and Sabrina. I go through a tube of Buxom. I'm averaging like probably two tubes a month, maybe? At least a tube and a half a month. Ooh, it's not good. <laughs> I'm addicted to this stuff like crazy. Um, this one is Bunny. It's so pale. I mean, it does. I don't even know why I'm swatching it for you guys because it really doesn't show up. It's more about the texture and the consistency that I love. This one is a new one. It's called Samantha. And it's a sheer. So it's probably not going to show up at all. Yeah, not so much. But um, this one feels really good on the lips. So, two of those. So, hopefully, that will last me. Hopefully, more than a month. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And then uh, we went to, uh, my nephew started uh, UC Berkeley, and we went to Urban Outfitters over there. They have a really good Urban Outfitters in Berkeley. Ooh, I liked it. But they had makeup, of all things, odd. Um, and I got this because it was five bucks. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. I've not seen this before. It's the Elf Beauty School palette. There's 32 colors on the, in here. Look at this. There's so many colors. And I just kind of swatched a couple of them. I didn't swatch a lot of them, but just a ton of colors. Ton, ton, ton. So for $5, I couldn't believe that. I kept looking at it like, what? $5? No way. And then I got this, um, there's a really sparkly polish called, from Del Sol. And it's called Ruby Slipper. Why is it called Ruby Slipper? I don't know. It's silver. <laughs> I don't know why that would be called Ruby Slipper. The second one looks like Ruby Slipper to me. This one I picked up, I think it was, not Buckle, what's that other store? Gosh, I can't think of that store. I'll think of it, I'll think of it. It's called Disdain, Disdained, Dis and it's, it doesn't say what color it is, but it's like a purple shimmery color. It was $2.99. Um, I can't remember the name of the store that it came from. Darn it. And then at Urban Outfitters I picked up three of the glitter. They had these glitter. They had I don't know, I was in a glitter mood that day apparently. But three of these glitter um, liners. I like glitter liners for just, you know, just like a little touch. Maybe on the corner of the eye or whatever. I just like to have them around. See? They were really cheap. Like, I think it was... Oh no, I guess they weren't. This one was four fifty. This blue one. Ugh. It's um got blue and purple and green sparkles. And then this one's just a hot pink. And this third one is just a gunmetal. Under there right there. It picks it up just a little bit. I just like to have them around just for like a little papa. A little something in the corner. That's it. I talked fast. Hopefully I get this under 10 minutes. Um, so that's that. And the next haul do, I just picked up some things for Halloween. And I wasn't going to do a haul on it or a video on it. But then Julia Gullia did one. I thought, oh, well, yeah, it's kind of cool because that's where I got most of my ideas for the things I bought. So I thought, why not? So I'll do a haul video on Halloween stuff next day or so. My Halloween decorating is almost done. So I'll do a home tour just as soon. By, by this weekend for sure. It's got to be done. <laughs> so... I'll see you in the next video. Take care.